Hey guys, welcome to another review. Um, I know it's been a while since I had the chance to do one, and um, I've just been kind of busy. So, start off tonight. I'm going to try to do maybe two. Um, I'm going to start off with McAfee Internet Security. This is version 2011. And uh, it's a uh, total, I think it's called uh, Total Security. Something like that, or no, just internet security. Sorry, I thought I got the one that was total security. Anyway, it's fully updated. You can see I just checked for an update, I don't know, three minutes ago. Um, everything's turned on just like it comes from the factory. It does have, you know, some different tools PC optimization, network, data protection, web and email, it comes with site advisor, it has a firewall, all the fun jazz that you know a complete suite comes with. So let's start doing some uh start playing with it a little bit. Let's see what kind of uh memory usage we have here. So it has one, two, three, four six processes at least in Windows 7 it does and uh, if you kinda put them together you're looking at what 50 60 megs so it is a pretty heavy suite now okay so never mind on this one this one just went down to nothing but it's still fairly heavy you're looking at uh, 30 40 ish 45 megs um, while an average suite in today's world gets, you know, between 15 and 30. So let's open up Internet Explorer here. I have some uh, new links. Don't know how many of them work and how many don't work. That's just luck of the draw here. I haven't tested any of these. So we'll let the first one go here. Oop. Looks like that one went right through. Might be a fake antivirus. Not 100% sure on that one, but it looks like Internet Explorer just got closed. The hard drive's going nuts. There you go. Yep, fake antivirus. Installed itself, no problems. Looks like it won't let me get past that. So let me open up Task Manager here and see if I can kill that file. I suspect this is it, maybe. Yep. There we go. And we will continue. So as you can see, um, McAfee, OK, it looks like this one got blocked. Now, it gives you the option here of block or download anyway. I personally think they should get rid of this download anyway. If it has been detected to contain viruses, spyware, I don't know if I would really, I don't know, that's just my opinion, but we'll block it. We'll consider that blocked. But as you can see, I didn't see anything, any type of zero day um, protection. Now we got an Artemis detection here. It found something, it found that serial sumo one, but we will continue here. It doesn't have anything, I didn't notice the behavior blocker. 
a hips module, a sandbox, anything like that. For security suites to be valid in the future, they really need to. And there goes another. fake AV. For security suites to be valid in the future they really need to stop relying on signatures. As you can see um, McAfee pretty much is doing that right now. And because it seems to, they, it seems like they rely heavily on their signatures it, it, it doesn't really protect you. seems to be relaunching itself automatically. Okay, block that one. That's good. Looks like it's blocking some other files here. These are all Artemis which is their zero day component I guess you could consider it which is an, uh, more like I think Artemis is more like an online uh, cloud component but it doesn't have anything I didn't see anything that would consider on the endpoint security you know the end user security It looks like those aren't working anymore. Okay, we'll wait for that one to finish downloading. Okay, this one wants elevated privileges. And there goes. Protected. This one doesn't seem to be downloading at all. I'm having a hard time with some of these getting them to work right. Okay, block that one. So that's good. That zip file. Wait, I just did that one. Okay, we'll consider that one blocked. And let's do the last one here. And it doesn't look like the last one works. Or it might have been blocked. It's hard to say. I think it got blocked. Okay, so now I'm going to restart the computer and then I'm going to do a full system scan with McAfee. So I will be back with the results when the full system scan is done, you know, doing its thing. So I'll see you then. Okay, so I'm back here. McAfee finished scanning and it says it did not find anything. Okay, sure. It didn't find anything. So I grab my testing tools here. I'm going to run CCleaner to get rid of all the temp files and then I'm gonna run Malwarebytes. Now the Malwarebytes that I'm gonna run is the new beta. I wanna test it out in, in testing purposes only. And there goes that fake AV again. Oh, I forgot to click this one thing. So I'm gonna run CCleaner and then and then I'm gonna run Malwarebytes. So I'll be back with the results from Malwarebytes. Okay everybody, I'm back. I had to stop making the video for a while. I had to go pick somebody up. But um, I paused it while I was scanning and then I restarted the scan as you can see. 
it took about uh, 10 minutes and uh, Malwarebytes found five things so let's look around and see what it found they're all different things we have a hijack a registry key here okay we have uh, another hijacked registry key here let's see what else malware trace we have rogue multiple AV and other registry key and then we have that Trojan uh, fake uh, fake alert that we see all the time that's popping up so let's remove these I don't think any of these are active in memory right now no it's not so we don't need to restart so I'm gonna X out of this as you can see that was the uh, the beta version of uh, Malwarebytes you can tell it doesn't look like anything different I mean, on the on the outside, the user interface, you you don't see a difference. I mean, at least I didn't see one. But there's a lot of differences um, internally the way it works. So that's good to see. So next, I'm going to run a scan with Hitman Pro. Let's see if it leads me to anything. If not, um, if it says clean, then we might do some other scans. So I'm gonna pause the video here while this scans, and I will be right back okay so hitman pro didn't find anything let's run Gmer here and see if it if there's any type of rootkit or anything um, embedded in the system we'll see if it finds anything and I don't see anything out of the ordinary all I see is McAfee drivers so that's good and I'm gonna do a scan with super anti spyware might as well because I'm here and I have the time so I'm gonna do this scan and I will be right back when it's done okay so super anti spyware finished scanning here and it found a couple of registry things it found a registry key a malware trace something that had been changed and it found a uh, broken file association here dot exe so you can see that uh, couple of things were still left over so overall how do I rate McAfee 2011 I'd say don't waste your money um, they need they definitely need to improve some more they need to improve the speed of it um, another thing that really annoys me is they give you this stupid little you know slide bar here and they won't let you resize the window so if I open up you know one thing here I have to slide it all along you know it, it won't I can't resize anything it won't let me do anything to the window here so it's they have to rethink the way they did their um, user interface here a little bit and protection wise you saw it didn't do too great it didn't do bad bad so I mean it didn't let anything like a root kit or anything like that through but at the same time it, it did let a couple of rogues and some registry some important registry keys changes to happen like the file association with that uh, executable files that exe association should not have been able to be changed so they need to get some kind of component in here be it a behavioral analysis a hips a sandbox something that isolates programs better from the system than what they have now so that's it on this review. I think I'm going to do one more. It's going to be uh, another review using the same links. So you guys can see how this program coming up will work like. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I'll talk to everybody later. Take care.